currently been working on remodeling this bathroom and today I'm going to start with replacing this toilet seat. Sometimes toilet seats get broken, um, the little like sometimes the finish rubs off and this one in this case is plastic. So to start I'm going to be removing the bolts here on the back side. I'm going to pop this one up and I'm going to pop this one up as well. On this model you just come up with the screwdriver and looks like I might need a larger screwdriver to oh, it might work to take these bolts out. These also tighten from the bottom side so if you can't get them there should be a nut on the bottom side as well that you can then grab a hold of in order to get them loose. In this case we can see it's spinning from the bottom side so I'm needing both hands to get this off. For the replacement toilet seat, this is an elongated nose toilet, so the nose comes out quite a bit further forward than it would on a standard. So you have to measure yours in order to make sure you get the right one. I'm probably going to throw away these old bolts since we don't need them. The new toilet seat that I bought is not a soft close because I like my toilet seat to close when I close it. So we just have a standard one here, made of an MDF, I think, because I want something a little bit more solid so that when women come over, they're not sitting on some flimsy piece of shit plastic. So let's be honest, they're not into that. So, with our new toilet came the new bolts as well as the instructions, which we'll throw back. I've set the new toilet seat up here on the bowl, and we're going to take our new bolts and we're going to set them in there. In this case, this one we put the bolts in first before we set the toilet seat on top. The models might be a tad bit different, but these ones set down inside those pieces. We also have the nuts that it came with, which will be going on the underside down here. And we will then thread them on from the bottom side. We may need a screwdriver eventually on the top side to hold both pieces in place as this tightens down. Although in this case, I don't think we will. We can now see that it's flush up top, and we can push that piece down and lock it into place. We'll then do the same on the other side. Remember, this is not a job for your power tools, as those could quickly tighten them too far. You can see. Toilet seat comes down and it's now installed.